This is a video that shows you how to create and use channel brands. We're going to show an example company where channel brands are being used. I'm going to add a new channel brand and then I'm going to show you how to create an extra template and assign it to the channel brand. So first of all, a little bit of background. Indosports is a company that sells kayak equipment and water sports equipment and they sell on a number of different channels including Amazon, eBay, point of sale, telephone of course, and then a few online stores. Their main site is running on Magento, indoextreme.co.uk. This is their main site, selling everything from helmets, inflatables, clothing, nutrition, outdoor equipment, and so on. And what they've found is that one of their categories, buoyancy aids, is actually worth running a separate store for, a separate micro site. So they've launched a separate website running on Shopify that just sells life jackets. This means that they can market specifically to the life jacket buyers and get better search engine ranking. They've added this as a sales channel in Bright Pearl under Shopify and sales are starting to come in. Let's open up one of these sales where we can see the channel has been assigned lifejacketstore.com. This order has been fulfilled so we've got a packing note but when we print this packing note, it looks pretty boring. Also, the company name is coming from the default channel brand because the Life Jacket store doesn't have its own channel brand. So what we need to do is add a new channel brand for the Life Jacket store. In Bright Pearl, go to Setup and the company information screen shows us the channel brands we've already got set up. So let's create a new channel brand called Life Jacket store. They have a dedicated phone number for the Life Jacket store and a dedicated email address. It's the same address as their main warehouse. The Life Jacket store has its own logo. We don't need to worry about filling in bank information, but we do need to add templates. And for now, this channel brand is going to use all of our standard templates. So the sales quote we probably won't use for this sales channel, but that's the quote itself. And then there's an email sent to the customer with the quote attached, so I'll use that. The invoice itself, and then the invoice attached email. The sales credit, we'll choose credit note. The purchase order, we'll choose purchase order. So these are all our standard templates. When you update the order in Brightpile, you can send an email to the customer, and we'll choose the update to your order template. We'll choose the standard packing note template, and we don't need to worry about these goods out note packed email or SMS templates unless we want to. And then save. So we've now got a new channel brand for the Life Jacket store at the bottom of the list. What we need to do is go and assign that to the channel. So let's go channels, Life Jacket store, settings. And then under brand, we'll choose the Life Jacket store. Next time we print documentation for that particular channel, it's going to show it with the right company information. So we'll go back into this sale and print the packing note again. So because we're using the same template, the overall look and feel is the same, but importantly at the bottom, where the company information is being produced, it's actually outputting the right company name now. If I go to edit the template, you'll see that my company name and my company address come from the channel brand that's assigned to the sale. So just to spend a moment or two on that concept, any of the company information template widgets use the channel branding information from the orders sales channel, regardless of the template used, which means that you can use a generic template like we had for that packing note for a number of different sales channels, and each printout will show the right company information. What we might want to do, however, is go a step further and actually create a custom template for each of the channel brands. So let's do that. We'll copy the packing note into a different template specifically for the Life Jacket store. So in your Bright Pearl account, in the setup area, on the left hand side you've got a template section. Click Document Templates. We're going to copy the packing note template, so click to edit. Switch to HTML mode, select all, and copy. It's more reliable to copy and paste in HTML mode. Click List Templates to go back to the template list, where we can click to add a new template. 
Let's call this packing note for the life jacket store. And customers don't see this, so it doesn't matter what you call it. Flip to HTML mode and paste. Flipping back to visual mode will show us the copy of that packing note that we had before. However, what we want to do for the life jacket store is make it look a little bit smarter, a little bit more specific to this particular channel. So let's put a logo in. We'll put the cursor up here, and then from the widget select menu, choose My Company Logo. We also want to give the Life Jacket Store customers only a discount to use on the Life Jacket Store itself. So let's add that in here. So what we have here is a template that's only going to be sent to customers that have bought on the Life Jacket Store. And you can see how you might want to use this concept for returns policies perhaps for each specific sales channel, or terms and conditions or other marketing content that you wanted to use for just one channel. So we'll save the changes here, and then go to Edit Our Channel Brands to make sure that this template is used for the Life Jacket Store. So we go to Setup, where we have our four channel brands. Let's edit the Life Jacket Store. And on the template screen, we've now got a new packing note which we can select, the packing note for LJS. Next time we print anything for orders created through that channel, we'll get the right branding. So let's go to our lifejacketstore.com, have a look at the recent sales, open up that sale, and print the packing note again. And now you can see that it's got the logo on the right hand side, and scrolling down we've got the message specifically for these customers. If you really wanted to, you could change the template to go back to the standard packing note template, which uses that default plain template, but still brings through the right company name where you've put company widgets in. So don't forget that Brightpool uses the channel brand based on the channel for the order. So what we have here is the goods out note list, and you might want to print a number of these all at the same time. So let's select a few of them. And these are actually sales from different sales channels. When we print these goods out notes, they'll all be printed with the right template based on the sales channel. So here's an order for Tom Smith from Indo Sports. Here's that order from Chris Jameson, which came from the Life Jacket store. And then here's a third order for Peter Wellens, again from Indo Sports. So all of your batch processing also supports channel branding. So now you know how to create a new channel brand, assign custom templates to it, and then assign that channel brand to a sales channel.